Okay, um, some people had some issues and some questions regarding some of the nested loop stuff within my programming lab. Um, in particular, they're talking about uh, these various combinations. Notice, write loops that display all possible combinations of two letters, um, where the letters are, etc. Um, write another one, uh, given a character variable that's been initialized to a lowercase letter, write a loop that displays all possible combinations in A through last, right, etc. Um, the first thing to note is that um, is a couple of things. One is that that loops themselves um, are actually one of the common places where people new to programming uh, tend to have difficulty wrapping their minds around things. Um, and then when you add in the fact that we're actually dealing with uh, nested loops, um, you essentially are talking about uh, loops upon loops, um, and you know, as a result, you may end up with uh, with sort of you know a double confusion. Okay, now, so my point is that you know if the first time you look at these things, they kind of are bouncing off of you. Don't panic. You know, kind of take some time to go away, um, have a drink or whatever. Come back. You know, look at it again. Um, eventually, it'll it'll start to settle in. Uh, let's take a look at, at something similar to this. Okay, so if I come into uh, if I come in here, um, here I have just a very simple um, you know boilerplate code for creating a program. Um, to relate this to something that that you may have been working on, um, think about for instance car the card convert program. Okay, in the card convert program, you needed to be able to convert from um, or between a um, a abbreviation for a card um, and the uh, and the actual um, and, and the sort of English reading of that. So for instance, KC would be King of Clubs or 10D would be the Ten of Diamonds or 2H um, would be the Two of Hearts, etc. Okay, suppose that I wanted to enumerate all of the possible combinations of cards. Okay, that is, there are 52 of them. Now, one way that I could do this is I could actually create a big list in array, as we're, as we're going to talk about later when you talk about arrays or some other type of collection of all of these various things. Of course, that means I have to actually type all of those things in. And, well, frankly, I'm kind of lazy. I'd rather actually have the computer compute this stuff for me. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create um, two strings. My first string is going to represent um, the the suits that we can actually use. Okay, so I can have string suits, and that is, that is going to be equal to the following. So, what suits do we have? Right, we have clubs, we have hearts, we have spades, and we have diamonds. Okay, then I can create a string for the values. Okay, so the values that I'm going to have would be the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now here, instead of using 10, I'm going to kind of cheat and just use a T. Um, and then I'm going to say jack, queen, and king. Okay. So those are the uh, those are the actual those are the possible values that I can represent. Okay, so now that I have these uh, these two collections of the various characters that I want to combine, um, how can I go about computing essentially the combination of each of those? Okay, what I can do is essentially have something that works like this for every suit. Print each value. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, rendering that into um, into actual code. Okay, so for every suit, um, it actually starts with four. Kind of tells us what it is that we want. All right, so for every suit, um, so what I'm going to do is use an index to go through all of the values inside the suits string. Okay, so we index into the suits by using an int. So I will say int suit index starts off at zero while that is less than suits dot size suit end plus plus
Okay, so we have that. Um, and I'm gonna actually put the print each value inside here. Now, how do we print each value? Well, what that means is we actually have to go through each one of the individual values, okay? Even before I do that, uh, what I'll actually do um, is, well, actually I'll hold off. I don't really need to do that here. So, again, I'm gonna use another loop, and this loop is now going to iterate across the values, okay? So I'll call it val index, and that starts off at zero. Again, why do we start off at zero? Because the index of the first character in a string is zero. That's why we're starting with zeros in each of these cases. While the val index is less than values dot size and val end plus plus. Okay. Again, I'm going to put in my uh, comments here just to uh, so that as you're reading this code later and to remind myself of uh, of where the end of each of these parts is. So this is the end of for val end and for suit end. Okay, so now I can begin to create the parts of the uh, of the string that I'm interested in. So the first character is the suit, and that simply is suits at suit end. Okay, so that gets the suit, then I can get the value values at val end. And so I can output at that point the, um, the value that I'm interested in, namely, it would be the suit followed by the value. Okay. Now, depending on how I want to format this, I can actually sort of format this um, in a, in a semi-logical way. So, for instance, I can put spaces here, um, which means that now all of these will be on a single line. Um, then, after this inner loop, I can do that, which means after I get through this particular loop, uh, I will print a new line and basically start again on a new line. So see if you can predict uh, what that might actually look like. Okay, think about it for a minute. Okay, while you do that, let me go ahead and try to run this. Okay, so notice, ace of clubs, two of clubs, etc. Okay, so in this case, I actually kind of got it backwards from what we wanted, right? So I'm printing out the, uh, the suit first followed by the value. That's easy enough to fix, right? All we need to do is come down to here and we'll just change this to value and suit. And we see ace of clubs, two of clubs, etc. ace of hearts, all the way through king of hearts, ace of spades through king of spades, ace of diamonds through king of diamonds. Okay, a very simple way of generating all of the combinations for each of these things. Okay, and again, if you think about how this is actually going to work, um, it makes sense. So think about it. In the first case, what happens is we start off with suit index equal to zero. Okay, um, then we do our test here. So is suit index less than the number of characters that is in suits? Well, yeah, zero is certainly less than four. Okay, then that means we're going to come into this part. So we set val index to zero. Is that less than size? Well, again, take a look. There are certainly a lot more things there than zero. So we're going to come into here. So we get the, we get the suit index. We get the suit set to clubs and we get the value set to val index um, of that. So basically the ace. Okay. And we output that, follow it by a space. Okay. Then we end this for loop, which means we're going to loop back up to, which means we're going to actually first increment val index. So val index goes from zero to one. We now do our test. Is one less than the size of that? Yes, it is. Okay. We once again reassign suit, although suit hasn't changed, it's still going to be C. Um, now the value of value changes from the ace to two, and we print out that. Okay. We do our increment, we come back. Um, at that point, we end up with our three value, 
etc. Okay, eventually this gets all the way to our king. We do our king value. Um, we print that out, we hit our space, we increment that, which means now uh, basically we're at this point. Val index is no longer less than values.size. In fact, it's equal to values.size. So we're done with this inner for loop, which means now we print out a new line. Now we're done with the first iteration of the outer loop, which means we do our increment on that. So we say suit index plus plus. So suit index goes from zero to one. Then we're going to work on the hearts. And now we come back in here and we start this all over again with val index of zero, meaning we're going to have the ace of hearts, the two of hearts, the three of hearts, etc.